<clears throat> Last week we discussed that what exactly is the real self. So the first thing this master says that this real self we are searching is not different from what we understand by God. So that is why the first Patanjali, the master, defines and understands that he, that real self is a spatial being known as Purusha or Ishwar. So what are its characteristics? It is beyond the karma. That real self is neither the doer. Here comes Sophie, you see that? So, so he is neither the doer and the enjoyer, and no stress in the suffering is a affecting that state, that real self. Second, we understand that it is the source of the knowledge, all the knowledge. It is pure consciousness. In the next sutra, we understood Tatra Nirti Shayam Na Sa Esh Purvesham Guru Kali Kali now, Anavichedat means that he, that consciousness, that the real self in you is the, is the real teacher. And then we understood that we can designate that real self as Om. And Today we are understanding that if we meditate on, here comes the Michelle. So when we meditate on Om, when we meditate on Om, what happens? What happens? when we meditate on Om with its meaning, with the essence, it removes all obstacles. It brings an end to the suffering. So this is our uh, principle. So we will open the principle and we will understand it. So there was a Ah, here comes to Charlie also. Very good. So, Om is not a religious symbol, cult, dogma, and belief. The way your name is Michelle. So, when I say, do you know Michelle? If Anne knows it. So, Anne picturizes the image, what she is doing, gender, color, shape, and all the attributes. That is how the Michelle represents so when I say Om, what Om represents? Om represents pure consciousness, neither doer nor enjoyer. It is the source of all knowledge. It is pure consciousness. If someone asks you, do you know Girish? You cannot say that Girish is without beard. It is one of many attributes. See that? So you see that? When the mind is pure, it naturally focuses on the attributes. And when you meditate on Om with these attributes, the knowledge of the reality dawns in us.
the oldest text of yoga is yoga vasishtha written by and it is known as the longest ever written poem more than 4000 years ago it was written by a great master known as valmiki but before he became a master he was a robber he met a master master said go to your home you do robbery you kill people if any member of your family can owe your sins of killing people he went to his home asked his wife no 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 it is your responsibility you have to bring the money to feed ourselves i'm not going to take over your sins that is your responsibility he returned back to the master master told him there is another word which is very much used in india for meditation the word is ram r a m normally here it is known as ram <laughs> it is not the ram of a computer so rama the word means a consciousness that is all pervading he practiced rama meditation he got awakened he became a great master and he wrote yoga vasishtha that contains only 60000 lines it gives you every facet of what exactly yoga is meditation is how to live a personal professional social life in peace and happiness so we are understanding then we can meditate on om before that if i say meditate on space how would you become maintain an awareness of the space you are sitting in your home you are aware of the space inside your room are you not become aware of the space now break the wall of your rooms in your mind and see the space outside your room it is one space it is not two space the space cannot be divided are you getting it the space cannot be divided when you say the space is infinite can i hold on my mind on the space here and now om is pure consciousness it is infinite space so when i say om my mind goes to the space when i say sofi my mind goes to sofi same way if i say om mind goes to the space to do that practice of meditation we need mind should be pure pure means it should not be distracted and wandering here and there are you getting it om space all source of all the knowledge om om john 
So when I John say, you see that when I say John, instantly the word John is limited. Mind becomes limited. When I say Om, it becomes unlimited. Are you getting it? So the mind should, when it is reciting Om, when the mind moves into its attributes of Om, which is the source of all the knowledge, it is likened the space. Another example of that. Water and waves. We see the waves, no doubt about it, but that wave is nothing but water. And actually, the wave waves do not exist so what is the existence because of which the waves appears water water is the existence for the waves am i right gold is the existence of earring nose pin necklace nowadays you know we use platinum so platinum is the existence for the rest of the jewelries huh? but those shape in the form are not the thing they do not exist they appear am i right are you getting it that is how we understand in a master and a disciple tradition are you getting it? Platinum is existence. And what is made up of the platinum still remains the platinum. Isn't it? It is only the platinum. It is only the water. Right? Clear? Similarly, similarly, in the same way, that consciousness, that real self is becoming me, Mead. That real self is becoming Sophie, becoming Ain, becoming Samir, becoming Michelle, becoming Charlie, becoming John. Water becoming waves. Waves do not exist. They are water. Are you coming? Are you with me? Same way, there is only one real self, one existence, one reality, becoming all of them. And we become, that becoming is an appearance. How do you know that we are in appearance? Now, yes, you will. Ask the question. No, I exist. Ah, did you exist 100 years ago? No. Do you exist now? Yes. So let me add, will you exist 200 years after? So existence means continuity. What exists? all the time, in the past, present, in the future. The waves have a temporary appearance, the same way the body is a temporary appearance. We are not the body, we are the real self. All pervading. That is the goal of meditation. I am using reasoning. Uh, reasoning gives you the valid means of knowledge. No belief, no cult, no dogma, no religion. That is the beauty of the Eastern wisdom. <laughs> so, 
So that real self is designated. How can you see real self is pure consciousness, real self is absolute existence, real self is uh, pure consciousness, real self is permanent happiness, it is absolute truth, it is... Oh, I go on explaining. So I said, let me designate it as a OM. Are you clear now? If I go on explaining the attributes of the real self, it will take hours together. So I say, it is Om. Like it is John. Like it is Michelle. Like it is Anne. Right? So when we meditate on Om with knowledge in the intellect about the Om, we get absorbed into, mind gets absorbed, it removes all the obstacles and we reach to the highest state of meditation. Are you clear? It's a journey, it's totally a Eastern wisdom is an instrument of knowledge that helps us to discover who, who am I, what is my real nature. Do you see the connection? We all are essentially one, appears different. Water is essentially, waves are essentially one appears different. Jewelries appears different, essentially one. So I gave an example, if platinum is an existence of all the jewelries, the water is the existence of all the waves, the real self is the existence of all of us. It is one common element. discovery of that is what meditation is. We have a very long mantra, uh, which we say a long mantra for the goddess. So let me say, let me use cup, two or three uh, long mantra and uh, help you to understand the meaning. So in that mantra, what it says, Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Shanti Rupen Sansthita Namastasyai 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 Namo Nama. Now see the meaning. O Goddess, you are present deep inside my heart as peace consciousness. That is why I bow down to you. I bow down. So we have one, two, three, four, five goddess, three gods. <laughs> you see that? See the beauty of this understanding. Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Kanti Rupen Sansthita Namastasyai 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 Namuna. It's a long mantra. I did it practice for many years on that. So what it says, Oh Goddess, you are present deep inside me as Kanti, as a pure consciousness. That is why I bow down to you, I bow down to you. We break all the barriers of cult, dogma, belief and religion. We have to use the same alphabets. So again, you say that helps our mind to go within and Ya Devi Sarva Bhuteshu Shanti Rupi Sansthita. There are 
almost, I would say, 15 texts in Eastern wisdom that gives a detailed account of Om. How to meditate on Om. So this Om contains three syllables. A, U means U and M. A, U, Ma. So these three syllables represents waking state, dream state, and sleep state. And Om altogether represents the fourth state, and that fourth state is meditative state. So the moment I sound so a waking state, dreams, ooh, ma, sleep state, and together oh, leads me to total absorption of the mind, and I enter into the fourth meditative state. very specialized practice of meditation. Then there is another teaching where we start from the ground, the way we are communicating with each other. Ground means that, foundation. So another master says, when we practice meditation, with the four different ways of recitation of Om, it helps absorb the mind inside and awakens to the real self. That is what we are going to do today. So I hope pet is not there near you, and even if the pet is there, you should not get disturbed. The first four minutes or five, four minutes, we will do very quick, fast, and loud. But keep our mind deep inside the forehead in the space. Are you ready to do it? No, I don't like to do it. Sometimes the mind <laughs> there is no likes and dislikes in the practice of meditation. That is why we say we have to purify the mind. What is the meaning of purification of the mind? That you are beyond likes and dislikes. If you are not beyond likes and dislikes, you will not succeed in any meditation. It's a long story, so I'm not stretching there. So the first level is then take a deeper breath and again as quick, fast, loud. What is important to note? That you should not allow any single thought or a word to enter between two ohms. What it demands, your awareness. So you can maintain the awareness when you keep your focus deep inside the forehead in the space. Otherwise, what will happen? Om, 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 om. And the mind goes to the workplace or to the honey or to your pet. I did not say and still it goes there. So we should not allow that. That is the first step. So after, in the second step, we take a deep breath into the belly and the ribs. So you see that, you check that. When I exhale from the belly, I, my lips remain open and making a sound. And when I exhale from the ribs, my lips goes together and it makes the sound of hum. See that. Um, you 
simply bring the lips together and the humming sound is produced. That lifts the prana up. That lifts the mind up. It prevents the mind to go to the lower consciousness of likes and dislikes. So it has to be melodious. It has to be long. Um, have you experienced a deep attachment where you express, hey, I love him or her? That is the third level. So how do you, you know, I love him, you know, as if half of it is remains inside the mind and half of it comes out. I love him. You might have experienced that kind of an attachment. I know. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> passes through the young age, so not a big deal. If you say no, then you are not a human being. <laughs> <laughs> so, so the third level is Om, 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 Om. Focus remains there inside. And the fourth level, you mentally say lips, no movement of the lips and the tongue. Mental Om, Om. But keep your focus inside the forehead. And in the fifth level, we do nothing. We will see what happens today. So the first level of communication language, which is known as Vaikri Mantra. Vaikri means the spoken. Second level is known as Madhyama. Madhyama means in the middle. Why it is known as the middle? The Om is going deeper inside. It is aware of the world outside fully, and it starts becoming aware of the world inside. Third is known as the Pashyanti. Pashyanti means to see. So you see that Om means what? You see the meaning of the Om. You experience the infinite space or pure awareness or pure peace or calmness. You actually seeing here means experiencing. Fourth is purely mental. Now the mind is working on the mind before we stop asking the mind to do anything. We enter into total emptiness. So what happens if you do it three months regularly without fail? You will find, you will discover that the OM is happening inside. How the word Om was discovered. So when you touch the real self, you will see that Om is still vibrating. At present, the mind is totally outside. It is totally unconscious of the real self. That is why we do not see that Om. So real self, the designator of that real self is Om. When we practice with awareness, with understanding, with the knowledge in the intellect. Am I teaching on my own? No. Every book of the Eastern wisdom says, learn from the teacher. So am I raising my position? Then the teacher says, I will teach you from the books. Book says you have to learn from the teacher who personalizes this knowledge. And the teacher says, whatever I'm teaching you, it is teaching from the same tradition. So the tradition continues. 
but that is not the importance of a the tradition should continue what is very important that knowledge is absolute knowledge it cannot be changed we are discovering the absolute real self science changes progress of the science means that i remove the error of perception 100 years ago was matter not consist of electron proton and neutron and electromagnetic waves yes but we could not see the scientists could not see now they can see now they can see more than three particles in the same matter matter is the same so there was error in judgment error in perception so that makes the science to progress so progress means that i remove the errors every time which is in the present in the knowledge but this knowledge of the real self cannot be changed it is absolute that is the goal of meditation to find that absolute why then we have a complete security no fear no anxiety no duality no conflict even if the honey becomes angry oh it appears it's not the truth. <laughs> now, that's a, another part of the story. So let us, are we ready to practice? So let us practice our meditation.